Me. I'm so excited that you would grace us with your presence. Oh my God. I mean it. I'm like hanging on your words. Talk about why they're calling you the big sister of TikTok. I like to give out advice. Mm. I think it's all about sharing information. And if I have a tip that can save a girl a couple weeks of agony over thinking about a boy she barely even dated, then that's a win for me. See, that's a win for everybody. Win for everybody. Help, exactly. Yeah, help it's about sharing the information. Votes. You know, whatever you know. I don't know everything. Lord knows I don't know everything. But I've picked up a, a thing or two over, over my time. So. Is it experience that has given you this wisdom? Or is it just this innate ability to know? I think it's experience. And you know what? I actually love asking for advice a lot, too. Mm. So I think it's kind of a cyclical thing. Like, I'll ask for advice. I'll listen. I'll pass it on. It's, it's kind of a back and forth type of thing. I totally agree. And you're about to get your own call-in show, yes. which I am so excited oh, about. Oh, please, we I need this. I'm so excited. It's me, Tinks, and it's on Sirius XM. I mean, this is so good. How are you approaching it? What are you excited about? I'm just so excited for this opportunity to take my relationship with my followers to the next level because I love making TikToks. I love answering DMs, but there's something so intimate about being in, in someone's ear mm -hmm. and also hearing a voice. You know, the power of just talking back and forth is so powerful. So I'm just, I'm really excited for this next step and to, for, to grow with my followers. They've been there with me since the beginning. I love that. Thank you, thank you. But I also just think, how did Tinks come up? It's so pithy and like cute so and optimistic. Cute. It's a, it, you know, it's a funny story. It's actually a nickname I've had for 20 years. It's based on a movie character named Tinka Parker from this little known movie called Strike about an all girls school. Anyway, long story short, there was this cool girl in the movie and I thought, I wanna be confident like her. So I started, I went to my friends, I said, you guys, you gotta call me Tinka from now on because I'm like her. It was my Sasha Fierce moment. I had an alter ego. <laughs> hey. And you know what? Fake it till you make it works because slowly yeah. over time, I just started to become Tinka Parker, this confident girl. And mm -hmm. I've been called Tinks ever since. I love it. And if Beyonce needs an alter ego, we, we all need an have alter one. ego. For sure, well, for sure. Um, I love the box theory is about, um, I mean, you saw the video, so you know what it's about. Um, but that really resonated with people. I feel like you got a lot of response to that. Like it really did go extremely viral and people felt passionate about that you were right. Yeah. And that people do get put in boxes and can't get out of them. Yeah. I think, you know, my hope is that it saves people time, you know, because I, I get so many messages from girls saying, I'm trying to get this guy to date me. I, what can I do? You know, if I talk about how much I love golden retrievers, if I, if I don't hook up with him, like what will make him want to date me? And I'm like, why are you trying to get someone to date you who doesn't want to date you? Yeah. You're in the hookup yeah. box, leave it, you're good. Yeah. Nothing you do can make someone want to date you, nor should it, because someone should want to. You know, there's a person out there for everybody who, there's no games, it's just easy, and that's what you're looking for. Mm -hmm. mm. Uh-huh. The simplest advice, it's, but it's so true. It's so just, true. Just be you, just and when the right you. person fits, it fits. Yeah, don't yeah. try to manipulate your way into a relationship, because those never pan out. And trust mm -hmm. me, I have done the legwork.